Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here, and I am glad to be here. How many of you love paydays? <laughs> now, there's paydays, and then there's paydays. But let me tell you about hey, paydays with meaning. Meaningful paydays. I've had so many of them. Our family's been blessed with so many of them, and recently in abundance. Uh, when a daughter that marries this young man that we just love to death, three months ago in March, sends me a text that says, I'm pregnant, that's a payday. When another daughter gets married on this last Friday, and we adore the person that she's marrying, and friends and family come together, and we see them off on their honeymoon, thrilled for them, that's a payday. When you accompany 25 other participants who are hiking down into the Grand Canyon and crossing over and coming up to help raise awareness for young adults living with cancer, but at the same time, having an experience that is tough, but it teaches us and will continue to teach us and will consider it to be one of the great paydays in our life as time goes on. You know, truth is an amazing, wonderful thing, and you can't have truth, true truth, doesn't exist without meaningfulness. Truth brings out meaningfulness. Truth is power. Several years ago, I had a colleague of mine, a good friend, come to me and said, I read this wonderful book. It's called The Majesty of Calmness by William George Jordan. He said, Lee, it was written in 1899, and I read that book every week. I said, you read that book every week? He says, yes, every week. I said, how long is it? He said, it's only about 60, 65 pages long. I said, wow, can I get, he says, I'll get you a copy of it. He came back a week later and said, I could not find a copy in print. So he had photocopied the book and had given it to me. And I read it and said, oh my gosh, this is so rich. This, this looks like it was written for our time today. And I said, I've got to get a copy of it. So I went online and started searching antique bookstores. And sure enough, found one and I bought one of the original books, one of the early published books of The Majesty of Calmness. But in my search, I kept seeing another book written by the same author, William George Jordan, called The Power of Truth. And again, I couldn't find a copy of it anywhere. We didn't have Amazon at that time. And so the antique bookstore found a copy and sent me a copy of it. And I could understand then why I had seen that leaders of nations had been quoting from that book for years. Religious leaders had been quoting from that book for years. It is just chock filled with wisdom. And as I've read it over and over again, just this last week I had the opportunity to read it again. And we actually went out and published this book in 2003. Uh, excuse, yeah, 2003, both books, and made them available on our bookstore. And uh, we've sold thousands of copies of this. Interesting, we have some people that buy 50 to 100 at a time and put compliments of on either one of the books. Uh, we, we, you know, we'll work with you if that's what you want to do. But I was reading it again, and especially in my life right now, truth has become something that I've been really focused in on. And so I thought, well, why don't I take a look at the power of truth? And uh, there's some great things in here. Let me just read... Uh, if you don't mind me reading just a little bit to you with some side commentary, uh, the very opening part, it talks about truth is the rock foundation of every good character, of every great character. Um, it is courageous living of our lives in harmony with our ideals. It is always power. Truth ever defies full definition. Like electricity, it can only be explained by noting its manifestation. It is the compass of the soul, the guardian of conscience, the final touchstone of right. Truth is the revelation of the ideal, but it is also an inspiration to realize that ideal and a constant impulse to live it. It goes on, one of the great quotes, I'm just going to give you a little bit, like he talks about lying. He says, lying is the sacrifice of honor to create a wrong impression. So when someone writes an article about you or about somebody and they twist the truth a little bit, it is the sacrifice of honor to create a wrong impression. It doesn't necessarily they're lying per se, but their intent, anytime you intend to, de to, to anytime you t say something with the intent to deceive, whether it's true or not, is it still a lie? It is masquerading in misfit virtues. Truth can stand alone. For it needs no chaperone or escort. Lies are, lies are cowardly, fearsome things that must travel in battalions. They are cowardly, fearsome things. 
Oh, wait. Truth can stand alone, for it needs no chaperone or escort. Lies are cowardly, fearsome things that must travel in battalions. They are like a lot of drunken men, one vainly seeking to support another. And, um, you know, so it's, he, the way that he writes is just amazing. But let me, let me kind of move to something that's more aligned with empowered wealth and what we're talking about there. He says, the man who makes the acquisition of wealth, the, go the goal and ultimatum of his life, Seeing it as the end rather than a means to the end is not true. Why does the world usually make wealth the criterion of success and riches the synonym of attainment? Real success in life means the individual's conquest of himself. It means how has he bettered himself, not how has he bettered his fortune. The great question of life is not what have I, but what am I? Um, uh, we could read from this book for hours. Um, uh, you know, and so just thinking about the concept of truth and meaningfulness, I just want to close with one last little paragraph that he has. It is in the trifles of daily life that truth should be our constant guide and inspiration. Truth is not a dress suit consecrated to special occasions. It is the strong, well-woven, durable, homespun, for daily living. I truly believe that as we make our lives more meaningful and truth, true truth, our companion, that everything that we do is real and not meant to deceive in any way whatsoever, but really truly coming from the heart with arrows pointing out, our lives will become more meaningful. I am in a very, very grateful state of mind right now, so grateful for those things that are most meaningful in my life. I wish a wonderful, meaningful week for you this week, and I look forward to talking to you next week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.